Alrighty, welcome back everyone. As you guys see, it's pretty pretty dry out here. Still haven't got the stone spread. Still work on a tractor deal. Never ending around here, but uh, we're going to a tailgate auction. It has been a long time since I've been to a tailgate auction. Watering my plants, which are dead, so I don't know why I did that, but uh, it should be a fun one. Hoping to pick up a couple remainder lots as well as some box lots if I can. It's not that I'm hurting for inventory, but I've been bringing a lot of the same, same stuff uh, back to the flea market. It's kind of like I'm going through a cycle of re re uh, replacing inventory with the same inventory over and over. So if I can pick up some different things, that would be awesome. Whenever you sell at the flea market, it's always important to bring different inventory. Because if you bring the same stuff every single week, and I see a lot of dealers do this, you're going to have the same stuff throughout the entire year, and you're going to lose buyers. So uh, definitely trying to pick up some new stuff. Hopefully you can grab a couple lots and let's do some treasure hunting and see what happens. Let's do it. All right. There might be even a new sign up there. Maybe it is. Well, auction today. This is the first time I've ever been to uh, the tailgate auction here. I don't, I guess you're not allowed to park over there. Nope, auction parking over here. I've never been to this uh, event. Oh, wait, what? Oh. I have no idea where this is at. But this is the first time I'm here. I'm also kind of late. It starts in 10 minutes. I got stuck behind train traffic. And uh, it took a while. That's a nice baseball field. That is nicer than any baseball field we played on in high school. And it had dugout, something. My high school did not. I guess I'll just drive over here. Oh, it is kind of nice. It's covered. So I won't be able to get too much footage around here, but I will try my best. I don't know how many cars are here either. Uh, all right. Oh, we're here. And we're doing it down here on Sunday. So I guess we're not allowed to have. Now, I don't want to confuse it to anybody, but if we did it on the second Thursday in July, would that be okay? I mean, just think about that. You don't have to answer. Your camera right on your table? Yes. Just get on it, man. All right, so we got a uh, we got one jug here. I paid two bucks for it. It's got the weird like dent in it. You guys see that? It's like I don't know how that happened, but that's my first buy of the first two rows. The auction generally gets a little bit better um, through the next three rows. So there's a bunch of paper ephemera I'm going to try to grab for paper moose, and there's a couple pennants and a couple other things I'm going to try to get. So I don't walk away with just a jug, but I did think that was kind of weird. I was like, got a dent in it. Kind of interesting. Okay. 
right. We're going to start out in the bed of this truck. Right across the right across the alley here. This is ten and a half, not twelve and a half. Twelve and a half, twelve and a half, anywhere twelve and a half, twelve and a half. So ten dollars. Number two, one forty-eight. This is a Sears hydraulic floor jack. It's in very nice condition, actually. On the floor jack, three ton. Twenty dollars. All right, this is what I grabbed today. So I spent a total of $31 uh, with like sales tax, I think. Uh, pretty much everything here I spent like $2 for. The hatchets, I paid five bucks for. There's one that's actually marked. Um, I didn't even check if the heads on the axes are strong, but they seem to still be pretty good. This one's marked extra, has something else. Uh, probably gonna be flea market pieces. However, I do have a friend who does this one split. Who does always ask me for them, but he only usually pays a dollar or three bucks each. So for five bucks, I know I can definitely get ten bucks out of it just from him. Um, but I'll probably keep the one that's marked. In terms of other things I grabbed, I picked up a box of tools. This one I think is for a hot rod. It's like a crimper. Probably like an old hot rod kind of thing. I think it is marked. Made in USA. Is that Raja, Raja, 1966. Probably like a crimper tool. There's other things. We got sockets. This is Husky. It's a, a bar with a socket on it. Um, adjustable wrench, another Husky piece there. All these toys. So I spent two dollars a box. Percent five dollars originally on them. Um, but pay two bucks a box. So I don't think I'm going to get five bucks a piece. I'll probably get a dollar to three dollars a piece. So you're looking at maybe seven, eight dollars a box in resale value. These things have definitely fallen off. But if you find somebody who's a Star Wars collector, they might pay a little bit more. They might give you two or three bucks, you know, a package. But got a bunch of those guys. This guy's got some X-Men, some Star Trek. It's pretty cool. We have a scrapbook here that originally was priced at 20 a bunch of photos. This might be like 60s, 70s kind of era. Um, some other photos as well. So I paid $2 for the scrapbook. I paid a buck for all these photos. Not too bad. Uh, laser discs have sold extremely well for me this year. I have like two buyers who always buy them. So here's a fresh stack. I pay a dollar for that. I sell them for a buck a piece. I might get about another five or seven dollars out of that. And another box of tools. So, not a bad haul. I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully, you can hit up some trash on the way home. Because I did see a lot of trash out. So, maybe, just maybe, you might add another trash picking town to the list. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, but I did see. So probably 50 or 100 cans out this morning. So didn't stop because I was running late, but maybe we'll hit them up on the way back. All right, ran a broken chair over there. You got some old charcoal bags. This person throwing out more garbage as we speak. Looks like just brush. So this might be a town that we'll garbage pick in the future. But, you know, it is 1130 afternoon. Trashmen still haven't come by. What's all that? That's all plastic. Could have been aluminum. So maybe there's already a scrapper that went through. Some of these streets can get pretty narrow. Um, I do want to venture straight, though. That's my intention here. Lots of brush out. Uh, brush over there. Check this out. I thought I saw like a clock, maybe. Not oh, households. Broken mirror. It's all plastic. It's garbage. 
All right, onward. Good, I'm gonna, so there's garbage everywhere. This is bananas, and it seems like some people don't have trash cans. What's that? Oh, that's their mailbox, I think. I don't know. No, it might be their mailbox. Got a whole couch set up here. Look at that. Couch set. Living room set. There's tons of garbage. I haven't seen one item. I haven't seen one piece of scrap metal. I haven't seen one piece of like a small, like a small furniture piece. Just, I don't know. But then again, you look at these houses, there's probably not that much that you can really store in some of these. You know, they're pretty small. All right, and then it's gonna kind of wrap it up here for the quick trash pick. brush over there okay that's going to wrap it up here for today's video it has been a fun one fun treasure hunt it's been a while since i did one of those tailgate auctions and uh, i'm very glad to pick up a couple of things definitely profitable items but you know it's more about the treasure hunt uh, and what you can possibly find you know so there wasn't really anything too valuable there that i really liked that i was really after aside from the hatchets which you know to me really aren't that valuable they're just items i know will sell um but Still fun. I got the nostalgia factor out of those Star Wars toys. Those were something I used to play with when I was a kid as well. And I do remember, I think that was episode one. I do remember when that came out. My neighbor um, actually took me to go see the movie, which was pretty cool in itself. So definitely brings back some good memories. And hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, smack that like button. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.